All right, we're gonna finally talk about this panel. Way cooler stuff, way more information than last video. Obviously, you guys were eating it up because that video went nuts. So we're gonna talk a lot more about the LED sequencers, the LEDs themselves. I totally didn't say anything about the LEDs last video. I have so much to tell you. Let's just dive in. Hey, I'm Chris from flatride.com. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time on the channel and you wanna learn all about custom lights, like what parts to use, how to build cool sequential things like we're gonna be talking about here, color changing things, all of that, Start now by subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon and hop over to flyride.com and make sure you register because part of this video is only gonna be available to you if you do that. So do that, it's good. First off, can I just say how ungodly bright this white LED is? Oh my gosh, that is nonsense. All right, I have to take the camera off of this mode because if I don't, I hit the turn signals it's just gonna blow the camera out. You won't be able to see anything. So let's put it back to auto. 12 seconds later. Same situation, hooking up some white LEDs. They're ungodly bright. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then hitting the turn signal. Boy, does that panel not look better? Last video was not even hooked up. This time it's, it's glowing. Oh, it's in all its glory, my eyes hurt. All right, let's, let's talk a little bit about this. And then we're gonna program it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, well, you guys told me that you wanted to see the nerd wiring crazy stuff like overhead view, I'm soldering, like I just, it's ridiculous. I filmed it. I actually found out that my Sony kind of sucks at filming 4K because it overheats, because it takes so long to film those segments. And it took forever, it was stressing me out, but I did it, did it for you. And again, it's because I love you. So go make sure that you sign up for that free little sequential mini course. It's gonna walk you through a few of the things that we're gonna do today in a little bit more detail. And it's gonna lead you to more information where if you want, I'm not pulling your arm and I don't know, trying to sell you. I'm just kind of an upfront dude. I'd rather tell you, I'm gonna pitch you stuff. Maybe you wanna buy the online courses, maybe you don't. I don't, I don't know. Just some guys, it'll help out. And that's all I care about is helping those people. Everybody else? Some cool free stuff, go check it out. So we have our ghost sequencer hooked up. The ghost sequencer has a little white input wire. This is just how I make them specifically. And when I hook up that white wire, cool things happen. Animated parking light turns on, take the parking light off, it animates off. Take the yellow wire, you hook that thing up, and now you've got your turn signal. And this thing self adjusts and times. I got lots of videos about it, it's very cool. Then you've got this little green wire. I hook that up. You're gonna get this cool little effect where it does those blends of colors. And then when you disconnect it, it's gonna do the opposite of that. That would be hooked up to ignition if you have that set up using the ghost sequence designer when you make your animations, if you choose to. If you just use it out of the box, that's what it'll do. And then here, is a legit show mode. It's stacking in white, unstacking, stacking in amber, unstacking, and it's gonna do a bunch of back and forth stuff. And I don't know, sometimes it gets a little bit like, kind of feel like it takes too long to get through all of it. And so if there's certain parts that you like in that, you can actually take chunks of that animation, like all this different stuff you see. You can speed it up, you can slow it down. Lots of crazy cool stuff that you can do. And so when I'm making different types of lights, different shapes, things like that, I really want to adjust it. You don't have to do this, but you can. And it's so inexpensive. I have all the links below in the description for the little Picket 3 programmer that I'm gonna show you and use on my computer right now. All I'm gonna show you is just the fact that it did look like that. I'm gonna flash it in there, and then it's gonna do other cool stuff over there. Let's go. So I've already got my stuff opened up over here. This is the Go Sequence Designer. I'm gonna show you the file that my boy Vincent in the Netherlands made for me, including the Pew Pew Pew. Oh, so dope. I'm compiling it using the Go Sequence Designer. It's gonna save it on my computer as whatever the name that I call it right here, YouTube. It'll be fun. Okay, now it's telling me that I'm using 75% of the memory in this Ghost module here, which is good. That means it's a good, long, fat, I don't know, filled up little setup. 
And now this is MP Lab IPE. It's just some other nerd speak for it's the program that's gonna take the file I just designed and zap it onto this dude. I'm gonna look for that file that I just made. This says YouTube at the end, and there it is. It's called a hex file. Now I'm going to hook this thing up. This is the Picket 3 doodad, doohickey. And I've got an extension so that I don't have to actually plug the main guy itself right into it. Good, click program, magic goes through this thing, into that thing. This will tell me if it passes or fails. And drum roll, taking forever. Da da, program complete. So let's go back and check out what we just did. Okay, I'm hook up ground, hook up power. Now the interesting thing is that when I hook up power, it goes through the board and it comes right back out through this wire right here. Basically just a way to separate power so that I don't have the LEDs power coming from that same wire right there. I don't know, I think it's smart that they do it that way. There's actually eight little pins that you could have it hooked up if you're powering all sorts of crazy things. It's just a nice little thing that they designed over there at Ghost Lighting for us. Let's see if we have a turn signal mode. Oh, we do, and it's going crazy because it was not designed for the switchback setup. But that is the pew pew pew. Now let's check out our show modes. As you can tell, it's blending all those colors together. Oh my God, that's so bright. Whew, whew, oh, I'm wrecked. All right, that, that wasn't actually the best version of this to do. I'm gonna make some other little changes and we'll come back. Just like always, if this video is And just like always, if this video is bringing you any value whatsoever, smash the like button for me. Let's tell the YouTube algorithm that this nerd stuff should be in front of more people. That will help. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, so much better on my eyeballs. I just see diagonally strips right now. <laughs> I don't know why they're diagonal, but I can see them. Our pew pew. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. If I start tapping this a bunch, it's going to regulate to how fast I do it. Pretty soon, it's going to be shooting twice every time I ding. That's your turn signal. The lasers. The lasers. Ah. So good. Okay. Uh, show mode one. That's actually the new one I just made right now. Warp speed. That was cool. Okay, that was kind of not that cool. I could adjust it though. And that's the other show mode. So I dropped the boring intro and I just got straight to the action, which is the fun thing about using the sequence designer. I love that. And that's why I'm making so many classes about working with the sequence designer, potting your modules, doing all the different things that you can do with the Go sequencer. And now I finally have something that I can get my hands on and just get dirty with. Just make all sorts, oh God, I'm blind. All sorts of cool, crazy stuff. I'm super glad that Jin got these things made and that they work so well that you can make the different shapes and that they're gonna be widely available and everybody can get them and you can also get them from other companies. Like I mentioned before, Unique LED has their strips, they have their pods, there's different shapes, everything's different. Engineers are gonna make things a different way. So it doesn't matter, you could go out and make it. Let me give you some free advice. I've actually said this to maybe four different people that could go out there and make it themselves. Make something, anybody, I dare you. Jin's my buddy and I am daring him to do this too. Take something that's a simple PCB design that can stack and bend and change the shape easily. 
I'm not talking about like you take a little straight strip and then you solder a thing and make a little hard angle on it. We need curved pieces. We need 45 degree angles. We need 90 degree angles. We need 30 degree angles, all of that stuff. All these little PCBs should be able to shape up like Legos and build incredible shapes where it seamlessly flows and looks amazing no matter what kind of light. If you think I'm stealing your idea, then I'm just putting it out there for everybody. Somebody make these things and I will make videos for you. Whoever sends me the product, just like Jin did this time, like I've asked other companies to do in the past, send me stuff. I will try to put a little spotlight on it because I'm just a little YouTube channel, but I'm trying. So I'll put the spotlight on it. I'll try to share out your parts out there. If you're a PCB manufacturer, dude, cool. Let's get involved. I want to introduce you to my community and you, my beautiful community, you people that are watching, that are supporting, thank you for even giving me a platform to show this weird stuff. Oh yeah, and of course, big shout out to my boys, Kyle and Dan at Ghost Lighting. I love you boys, you're the best. All right, not only is that the end of this video, but that is the end of this shop. As some of you may know, if you're following the journey of the business, not just the dive in how to hands on things, this is it. I'm closing my shop down. It's been a year and a half, almost two years here. And the next videos that I make will be from home. So I'm going to document how to set up a super dope home workshop. Comment below if you want to be included in that email list where I'm sending all this stuff out. It's part of the, the blog, vlog, however you want to put it. There's so much stuff to come. It's only for the guys that are really gonna care because they're gonna take some action and do this stuff themselves. So if that's not you, why don't you just show back up on Fridays, watch some cool how-to hands-on stuff, and you'll get a lot of value out of that. If you really wanna get more of the behind the, behind the scenes and watch me fumble words and not actually go back and edit it, <laughs> you should watch the stuff available only on flyride.com. Lots of you had said you want it. I hope I will see lots of you guys there. So again, that's the end for here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.